This presentation provides a tutorial for Sprat system use for general users. Please visit sprat.org for the most recent standards versions, supporting documentation, and news. Sprat documentation is publicly available and free of charge on Sprat's website. To access the Sprat system, from the Sprat website, select Site Access in the top right corner. If this is your first time logging in, it is recommended to use the desktop version of the site. Enter your email address and password. If you are unsure of your login information, select the Forgot Password link and follow the prompts, or contact the Sprat office. Sprat system accounts are role-based. All users will have access to their personal profiles. Additional access to files in the document repository, the online logbook, job board, ballots, and company privileges are based on a user's assigned roles. An account's roles are viewable on the user profile interface. Note that the current account is associated with a user that is a certified rope access technician. The user is also an active voting member with an individual membership. A user's locked personal data includes their name, birth date, and certification information. A certificate of the user's rope access certification is also available. The displayed QR code links to an issue report form to inform the Sprat office of any errors in locked data. Please provide as much information as possible when completing the form to assist the Sprat office in addressing any issues in an efficient manner. Users may opt into receiving notifications about specific committees using the Followed Committees tab. Users may edit their contact information including their primary email address for accessing their account. If a user updates their primary email address, their password must be reset and confirmed. Any edits must be saved for the changes to take effect. Users may add or renew their Sprat membership within their profile. The document repository provides role-based access to Sprat documentation, such as Sprat's bylaws, document approval and management policies, and online written test instructions. The online logbook is available to all active SPRAT members. Previously documented experience from a physical logbook may be captured on the Upload Logbook tab. Photos of the technician's logbook, including their personal contact page and total hours, may be uploaded to verify this experience. The Logbook Entries tab provides a filterable display of a technician's logged experience. Incomplete entries may be edited by selecting the pencil icon. Once an entry is completed and can be verified in accordance with Sprat's safe practices for rope access work, select the signed button. All logbook entries, or a filtered set, may be exported using the Export Results link. The job board is also available to any active member. Technician and individual members have access to search job listings, posted by company and company premier members. Technician and individual members may also submit posts when seeking employment, including the option to upload their resume. Company and company premier members may search these job wanted posts. Sprat ballots and results may be viewed by all Sprat members. Ballots may be filtered by their associated committee and status. Results and comments may be viewed for each stage of a ballot. Any requested action of a user for open ballots may be viewed by selecting the Vote tab. This list of records reflects the current stage of a ballot. The Company Profile Interface is available to any users associated with a company entity in the Sprat system. To associate the company primary member role to an account, please contact the Sprat office. Note that this user's account has been updated to a company membership and has been assigned as the company primary member. This association also grants access to evaluation session host privileges. Company profile information, which displays on the Sprout website, is updated through this interface. Additional company profile attributes are addressed in the tutorial for evaluation session hosts. Thank you for watching this tutorial for general users. 
If you have further questions, please contact the Spratt office.